Hello. Oh God. Hey. You got excused. Gotcha Hello, welcome to Sound Direction, a menswear stream without the stuffiness. I am your host, Ethan M. Wong. I'm your host, Spencer DSO. It's right below me. I am your producer, MJ. Yeah, you can't see what his face looks like just yet, um, but uh, you will later on today. We're also going like Yoshi and Jason. Um, oh, actually, we, hey, do see, but... we do see MJ. Oh, oh, I okay. Make it oh, I guess I'll see him, but... Oh. Uh, I was. I mean, I think there was one time where Face I was, was like K. not on a thing. Anyway, we're gonna start yeah. off the, uh, the episode today's episode uh, by it looking at what people episode. have sent us, and it's Sad Head uh, Sunday. So let's jump into it. Here's Sunday, what Sunday, we Sunday. collectively we the, collect- uh, have the royal worn. we have worn. I'll tell you. We're gonna start off with our Ooh. man in the in the tree, John. In the tree? <laughs> He's our man in the tree. Oh boy. Um, uh, I like the pose. It, like I, th- I think we've we've talked about we've talked about like fit yeah. pick poses, and if you have yeah. a tripod, I kind of like doing like the sitcom promo like pro pose. I think absolutely. That's a good move. Um, and he we've got we've got it in spades right here. Um, he's got a great patch pocket, uh, three roll two tweed jacket, uh, with a a lovely sweater. Um. I don't know if he's been watching the Beatles documentary, but I know, I know a couple people in the Discord are. And boy, mm. is there a lot of uh, good knitwear in that. Um, so I'm kind of, I'm feeling that right there with the OCBD, mm-hmm. uh, some OG 107s, and sharks, of course. That's right. Uh, sharks up to his on. knees, and uh, a beautiful tree that he's inside. I have a message request on. Oh. Never mind, it was a spam. It was from the uh, We got Jason. <laughs> oh, fuck, that's hey. me. Yeah. Drake's it up, baby. <laughs> uh, My yeah. man on the inside. The man on the inside. Of the tree? In, of the... Do they? I, okay, I don't, I don't mean to, to, to put you on the spot here, but like they're good. They're like they're okay with you being on sad, right? Like it's not like a weird... Yeah, no, or, it's fine. Maybe they don't Super care. Fine. Okay, okay. Uh, I mean, it's not like we don't know Chris. And I mean, I've only talked to like Brandon through DMs occasionally, but you know, I don't... Yeah. No, nah, it's cool. He, uh, one of the guys, Frank, um, constantly uh, makes fun of me for it, so it's fine. That's funny. Wait, like in a mean way or? No, 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 in a fun way. Yeah, no. He punches okay. you. He takes you. He's always. He, you know, he's, yeah, always he's like, like oh, hey, who's better, style hey, or direction? <laughs> who's nicer to you? <laughs> yeah. Wait, Frank from Succession? Oh, the high, yes. oh, the high, yeah. the high guys. Actually, <laughs> it's actually Frank from Men in Black, the Whoa. the pug. Oh, oh okay. yeah. Yeah, he's the pug. Alive? He, he's... <laughs> Uh, anyway, it's so obviously he in this picture. I'm wearing all Drakes except for the J Press shaggy dog hat. It's currently like freezing in the store. The heat's not working, mm. um, so I have been layered up to like the tits. I've like or, I'm, after this, I put my scarf on, and I was it was very close to wearing my jacket, like my actual like jacket all day. Oh my god! It was like 55 degrees in the store. Well, here you go, guys. A reason to avoid the Drake's Canal Street. Oh no no no! Please come into Drake's Canal Street. The heat. Like <laughs> they just fixed it right now. I just got right learned. now. It's crazy. Michael it's Hill. Actually, Michael Hill's texting me saying, "What the fuck, man? It's a hundred right degrees." in the store now That's so like you know, come on in take your tops off they're gonna come, they're gonna get someone Whoa. in to make Whoa. it so it's not 100 degrees um yeah the opposite problem now the opposite well problem. thank you jason <laughs> thank you bit. for being our man on the inside yeah yeah, yeah. no problem of the tree Drake. we got philip no we got tree. philip regard here philip. no tree plus sharks uh he's got you know this is a very like i i've I've worn something like this. I'm pretty sure I've worn something like this before. I'm pretty sure Ethan Newton's worn this before. But yeah, I love the uh, the sawtooth shirt with the black beret, the brown check jacket. You know, I think it's like a little, little, little bit of a red brown like gun this check, is which is red. really cool. Uh, a little bit of red. Um, <laughs> uh, the diving rayon uh, scarf, and then some like you know Donegal or f- those are like flannel trousers, gray flannel trousers from I think Scott Fraser. Like, I love this. I mean, I when I first got my beret and I, when I first got my my denim sawtooth shirt, I was like, this is like I wore variations of this a lot. Like this plus gray pants plus like different sport coats like navy and and like plaid and gray and everything. And then went with my black beret. So it was yeah. This is again easy, super easy look. It doesn't feel stuffy at all. Um, other than Philip's very dour expression. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah. thank you very much, Philip. Thank you, Philip. Ooh, next, MJ, take got... it. It's our oh. boy. Not 
John's MJ, MJ's face skin. was frozen in like a blur for a second. It was pretty good. I was tapping into yeah. the speed force. Yeah. There um, you go. Not a, tr- a turtleneck base layer, more like a mock neck base layer under That's right. his He's mocking uh, us. denim shirt. Yeah. And his, is this the Brandly, Brandly? Brand new uh, thrifted coat. Um, yeah. He, some... well, I mean, yeah, it's brand new to him, but thrifted for brand new. Thrifty Everyone else, world. I guess. Got, <laughs> yeah, brand new, brand new on his body. polo coat. The camel um, polo coat's so good. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, um, with some nice straight leg khaki trousers flared. and They're flared cords. Yeah. Flared Damn, cords, looks... Ooh, even better. Yeah, I like the. Yeah, and, um... the... yeah Spencer. I, I said I like the complementary <laughs> colors of the pants and the uh, yeah and the coat. Yeah. Yeah, this this is a very like seventies does like nineties night opening fit. You know what I mean? Like it's very like American, kind of like you know, like you know, like I think of like Richard Gere, but like yeah. if that whole nineties oversized thing was done in the seventies. Okay. You know, like it's kind of okay. like like I, I mean, I hey, see, we we, we did a whole it. we did a whole episode on the vague way we think about menswear, and a lot of it is based on eras. So mm. that's <laughs> that's kind of the, the the vibe here from John. But yeah, that's really the vibe. good. Thank you, John, for the vibes. This is the it's called vibe. vibe. This is Cal Vibe. Up next, we got Sam, who's wearing a full Vietnam that's fatigue right. set, it looks like. So that's the... Yeah. Or the, those are both from Bronson, I imagine. They just had their... Um, I can only imagine. Can only imagine. Uh, <laughs> imagine there's no heavens. Yeah. Um, no. We, someone Can't should tell that. Gal Gadot about that song. <laughs> Gal Gadot, <laughs> sorry. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I think this is all from Bronson, really perfect, who just did their Black Friday sale. Um, yep. which was a good sale. I don't remember what it was. It was free shipping, I think, and then like yeah. 50% off or something crazy like that. Um, but yeah, so he got don't the... Don't take f- our word for it. <laughs> it's probably over, so it doesn't even matter. Yeah. Um, but yeah, he's got the full fatigue set, which is cool. I like the idea of wearing that as like a suit. Um, yeah. You know, it's fun with the Henley. And then, uh, can't tell if those are boots or just like derbies, but... Um, some yeah. nice, uh, appropriately rugged leather shoes, but yeah, That's good right. stuff. 10, 20% off with reduced free shipping minimum. That's Not as exciting as good. I, as I made it out to yeah. be, but that's all right. Thank you, Sam. Sale. We got the Duke. We got the Connor, the Connor, the Connor. Vessel, the Connor Duke. Got another gray pants and brown check jacket. And hey, I wonder if these guys read the blog. Um, mm-hmm. So yeah, he's got that with like a like a nice like kind of like semi semi spread collar shirt. Like it's kind of a point collar, but kind of spread at the same time. Solid navy tie. You know, I would have tucked it in, but you know, it's fine to let it all hang out for some spreads. Um, it also looks like it's got uh, is that like a forward pleat? I can't tell which direction uh, they're opening toward, but nice kind of like slim, straight slim leg there, and then the brown Chelsea boots. You know, very uh, very nice. Love like a little bit of uh, I think like a Drake's pocket square, like they had a pattern pocket square. So very hashtag men's but very tasteful, and I especially love the the use of suspenders because we actually don't see those very often outside of like I don't know like well Connor and I think uh, what's his name uh, fucking Ivan. You know, not many not many brace wearers. Uh, in our in our wears. Discord, I used to wear braces all the time. We Spencer and I both would wear tr- like yeah. suspenders all the time. You didn't, you didn't have a choice to whether you could wear it that day or yeah. not. Um, yeah. You know, I had yeah, I had braces on my teeth for many years. Oh, I did. That's funny. Very funny. Uh, we got we got John over here. I, I just really yeah, let out uh, that here. John over here. We got John yeah. over here. Um, I'm kidding. I'm John over here. Walking in the sand. Oh, she was dying. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I'll hurry this up. But anyway, John is uh it's a fun beach look. Um uh, a blazer, a blazer to the beach, which of course we, we I don't think he's at this. the beach. I, I see some sand. A... That's that's just gravel. You know, no. you know, deserts doesn't mean that there's a beach Listen, nearby, right? There's a, there's a beach, the life's a beach, you know? I have a t shirt that says that says that. Um, and okay, life's next a beach year, here. life is a highway. Sure. Yeah, I just wanted to. I just wanted to make an allusion to the uh, sport coat on the beach. Funny an illusion. Have. An illusion, Michael. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. But anyway, he's got the Vans or CPOs, uh, light wash jeans, um, a, a fun blazer, 
uh and then dark tea uh and a and a hat that i can't read i'm going blind i'm sorry john but a great outfit also like the watch yep oh oh my god this is this is a different day uh but looks like uh dan has uh sent us his outfit the two fur so, it is a two fur one yeah so he's got the uh the pink the pink uh hat there a nice pink stripe ocbd i know he wrote an essay on that on his blog dress code dot dan hakimi i think dot com um and then, of course, like you know, cool move with the uh, uh, the gray cardigan, uh, kind of worn as a jacket, right? You got the sleeves rolled up like hell in a little bit there. Um, yeah. Some like uh, some navy, uh, some navy trousers. It looks like they're flat fronted, which is a cool, a cool move. And then the uh, the some bit loafers. Love, uh, you know, starting starting to grow on me. You know, this is very, you know, it's very New York City, baby, as they call it. And he is there. Um, and it doesn't look like they're freezing. At the, yeah, uh, or or, so or too what hot. Gives, so Jason? no, there the heat was working yeah. fine there. Okay, yeah, <laughs> this photo, yeah. it was fine. And it was that, a little that, chilly. Everyone should go. Everyone should go to the Drake's Canal Street. Use our code Ethan Wong for nothing. Uh, for actually nothing. <laughs> use um, yeah, use the word <laughs> Ethan Wong to get access to the thermostat. You can change it to whatever you want. <laughs> you can control it. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Dan. Let's see who's next. Ooh, we got Mexican Boots Boy MJ. Take it away. Standing in the light. Take it away. I I, I don't know where he is, uh, but he's doing <laughs> denim on denim on <laughs> denim. Oh, uh, yeah. Find him. Yeah. <laughs> big use of the big use of the heavy fabrics to keep uh keep warm. Yeah. I forgot where he's located. Is he East I Coast? Know, I mean Mexican. Uh, there's a there's a that doesn't mean know. anything <laughs> yeah it's true <laughs> you can you can be uh, mexican on the east coast I, I think it's cool to, to use i mean obviously i'm not a huge i don't not, not saying i'm not a huge fan but i don't usually wear as i've said before like short jackets under other layers um but mm. it is an interesting use here because i mean like guys kind of did do that because it's supposed to be like a mid-layer right like the old uh work work jackets and everything or like the type ones and type twos um but using it under like what I think is like a wax cotton jacket looks. I don't know if that's an international or it just has like a similar like chest slanted pocket. But yeah, really cool. You know, using the beret kind of gives it like a pseudo. I don't know. It's like it's like workwear meets like motorcyclist meets France, I guess. French mm, motorcyclist. I don't know. Yeah, does 1970s yeah. does 1990s. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, Richard Gere in the seventies. Yeah, exactly. Meets France. I like yeah. that. Just everything's oh, meets France. This so this is so good. Look at this oh, phone man. hold. Um, I know. I when I got it, I showed my friends. I showed Annie when I was out with her earlier today. I was like, "This is fucking crazy." That's yeah. someone who has no cares in the world. <laughs> Raw look dog at, in the phone at, and holding it like smirk. that. Look at that smirk, dude. He's like, if, fuck he's yeah, like, dude, if I... something happens. Who I'm gonna cares? fuck this phone. <laughs> he's, I don't know if he's Yo, saying this, that. Yeah, he, this guy fucks right here. <laughs> like, if I throw this phone, so what? Oh, oh no, you're singing into oh. the simulation. Yeah, uh, Ludwig <laughs> said that this is inspired by Bruce Boyer. Okay, I'm sure there is a picture of Bruce Boyer wearing. I see it. I see it. But yeah, but yeah, I love the. Uh, I'm gonna take it because I'm talking about the the jacket looks really good. I like the. You know, it's interesting to see like the three roll two, or I don't know if that's three roll two or two button, but like the kind of, you know the close buttons spacing together that still keeps it harmonious, but still keeps the button point at the right place, like kind of near the middle as opposed to too low. So it doesn't look like a J. Crew jacket. It looks like a regular menswear jacket. Um, you know, you can see that the great roll of the, co of the OCBD horizontal knit tie and then like a great shade of green. Similar to the green of my, um, my like olive 12th or green 12th suit. So it's not, I don't know if you call that olive exactly, but yeah, I love the the use of green there, and then the checka boots is uh, really nice. So kind of you know, kind of ivy, kind of I could see the Bruce Boyer, um, but yeah, no, really cool stuff, and you know, weird, weird phone thing, but yeah, weird phone thing. <laughs> yeah. Um, I love it. That's how I think. I mean, that's the only way you can hold your phone uh, and not like you know, destroy your hand. Mm -hmm. You think that's how L uh, takes selfies in the mirror? Oh yeah, that's <laughs> I think how that's L how does it. Take selfies in the mirror. Thank you very much. And we got Liam, who's just standing there with a great poster behind him of a, of a, a famously unproblematic man. Um, <laughs> but uh, oh, we're not wow. going to comment on that. 
Um, but anyway, I do love the look. Uh, it's a very interesting uh, pullover uh, like uh, thing, <laughs> like a navy pullover thing. I really, I really think, like I this garment. I think it's I think it's a fisherman's popover. Yeah, I think it's like... sick. I've wanted something like this, or like I've wanted to like design like a denim one. There was when I worked at J. Crew, yeah. there was a guy that like made clothes, and we were talking about making something like this. But he's got that with a turtleneck. Okay. Uh, some cords uh, and then some black shoes. I like the black with the brown cords. I think it goes well with yeah. with everything else. And also cool shades. Um, yeah, we've been. Uh, I'm, th I'm thinking of pushing that up the schedule because I'm really into wearing shades. Gonna have to. We're gonna do it in January where it's. Well, I guess you could wear shades yeah. year round. That's not a. That's not a summer only thing. We're in LA, baby. Yeah. As long as as long as Sunny. the sun is out during the day. Exactly. As long as as long as the sun is still shining, we've got hope in the sky. We've got a chance. We've got hope in the sky. Uh, yeah, we got Eric here. Uh, man, really great couple picture. Really great lighting in this tin type. Uh, you know, he's kind of got that Western flair. He's got the little polka dot bandana, uh, or like neck scarf Peter with what looks to be like a chambray. Here. Yeah, looks like he's got like a chambray kind of shirt with, with like dark buttons with a runaway collar, and then. A Plaid or herringbone jacket? I think it's herringbone. But yeah, really cool stuff. Great smile, really good hair. Um, but yeah, Eric, good job. Are you sure you're not a time traveler? He's not a time traveler. Time traveler's wife. He's, He's the time sister. Wife. Wife. <laughs> yeah. Um, Arbok. Uh, Arbok yeah, over here. He's got this. Is a this is really cool. Uh, he's got like a, a vintage like. Um, Pendleton yeah. or, or Filson, uh, like overshirt, uh, yeah. with a liner vest. I love that. Uh, Western shirt, uh, I believe, with some uh, denim jeans and then some mock toe boots. Pretty cool. But yeah, I love yeah, this with the cool. with the fedora. Nice, nice layering. Really cool vintage pieces. I want all of these. Yeah, maybe um, like I mean, I guess France has got some cool shit, huh? Yeah, they do. They got some cool shit over there. Believe it or not, Ripley. I'm walking on air. Okay. Ooh, MJ, you want to take time? No, I uh, have a nice <laughs> shoe. Uh, <laughs> with a nice gray chore coat over a uh, plaid shirt, red and blue plaid shirt, rocking the air tie. Um, some nice faded denim, and I uh, can't quite get an idea on those sneakers but some um, just very easy walking shoes um hanging out in his possibly local residential area uh, don't don't dox him now guys yeah well, well yeah <laughs> well i mean we're, we're experts it's, we're experts it's his now, turn to be so. yeah oh his, yeah That's his surroundings true. to be mapped out uh, yeah i mean it's do uh <laughs> do dox people so i mean we're expert <laughs> geo guessers Oh, that's what you're talking. Yes, yeah, of course. Yeah. Wait. Can you zoom in real quick? Um, yeah. Cool. Thank you, Jordan. Can what you the license plate around? looks like? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, Peter. Okay. So I uh, let me just confirm here. Let me listen to his name real quick because he sent this to me because he he did <laughs> he did say like by the way here's how you pronounce my name. <laughs> so I want to look it up real quick here just to make sure. He's like, I'm tired of Ethan messing up my name. Yeah, let me let me play it, play it. It's Lucas the Petter, baby. The Petter! That's the better. it. So, love it. The voice kind of matches exactly what I thought it would be. Um, but yeah, super cool fit. Love, like, the red runaway. Like, it's, a, it's like a disco collar at this point. It's like a legitimate 70s shirt. Three-button jacket. Pick, picket fosting. <laughs> Pocket fisting. Uh, with some gray trousers and like some uh, some black boots, yeah, Goodfellas look. Really, I mean, just so cool, man. It looks like he's about to like call someone a clown or something. <laughs> he's, well, he's at he's at the circus <laughs> right now, and someone's gonna ask him to describe what he sees. The, yeah, the petter. Thank you very much for your for your, for letting us say your name properly. <laughs> letting okay. me say your name properly. From, from petter to Peter. Is there any character yep. on on Family Guy that calls Peter Petter? Like, does anyone have an accent where they're like, "Hey, Petter"? There should be. Yeah. They should be. There, there should hey, be. Seth. Seth. <laughs> Seth, if you're listening, right. it's a new voice but you can do. Take this. 
Okay, well, anyway, Peter uh, is is in a very... He's also at the beach, as we could see, because there's clearly sand on the ground. Oh, um, damn it. And this is a great outfit to wear to the beach, I believe. Uh, starting from the bottom, we have some moccasins with some cords. This is a theme this week. A lot of people wearing cords with a, a big coat. Love that. Great length on that. A sweater, uh, a scarf, like a Nordic sweater, and then a beret, which we've seen him wear a lot recently. And yeah, it's good good headwear for this kind of look. It's like not as like, you know, I don't know. Uh, work it's wear. intellectual, yeah, kind exactly. of. Yeah, it's I mean, kind it, of more it, ele- elegant it. than like a watch cap or whatever. Yeah. You can listen to that episode on hats or headwear. There you go. Uh, it's, it's somewhere down. It's like episode 60. Somewhere. Uh, look who we have. Ooh, I'm just, you can take this. This is nice and simple. Yeah, nice and simple. Simple and clean. The brown Boston. jacket. Gentle and soft. <laughs> very soft. With very, very soft looking trousers. Right? Yeah. Uh, and yeah. some dark brown tassels. Um, very tone on tone, very, very good. And yeah, it's easy, easy, right? It's a safari yeah. jacket, good, nice. Again, brown, brown color is a lot better, in my opinion, mm-hmm. a lot better than the tan, a lot better than just regular navy, a lot better than just olive green. Like it's brown is great. Okay, I love. Brown's great. Everyone knows. You, you know, know I love wearing much. brown. So, yeah. Thank you for this. Thank you for your for gift. For... Oh, there we go. I want to make sure nope, we aren't skipping wait, anyone. This nope. is red. Wait, wait is yeah. Pla- I thought Platts was next. He's after him. Um, oh, okay. We have the Daily Mirror, uh, famous for his feature on Permanent Style. I can't see uh, the colors of what you're wearing. It's all red, it's so like, he's got a red yeah. coat with a red scarf and a red turtleneck. Yeah. Red pleated yeah, trousers. <laughs> got, yeah, I got pleated trousers. Good good leg on those. <coughs> I can see they're shiny. Probably yeah, nice shell legs. Oregon, the looks of it. Um, and you got like you know the jaunty scarf, not tied, just kind of hanging loose. And then what seems to be like a really cool like I don't know about like a polo coat or something because it's not a bound mechanic. It doesn't have like the uh, that kind of collar. It doesn't have mm. an ulster collar either. It has like a regular lapel one. So yeah, really cool, easy look. I'm sure London is nice and cold enough to wear this. It was like 80 degrees today and yesterday, so uh, we can't do this at all. We can't do this. Um, but yeah, thank you, Daily Mirror. Mur, Mur. Now Burr? we have Platts. Uh, so anyway, Platts is contemplating something in front of a very interesting door. That's a that's that's a that looks like a, a hefty door. I wonder where he is. Um, but he's wearing hefty a factory. shawl lapel jacket. It looks like, um, yeah. which is a very Larry Sanders move. Uh, with a I said that last door. time. Yeah, I know, but it is. He's the only guy I could think of that regularly does it, or regularly did it, from 1990 to 1997 or whatever. Um, he's wearing that with a spread collar and a and a gold striped tie uh, with some nice chinos and sharks. But yeah, interesting uh, shawl collar jacket. I like. I think that uh, that could be really cool. It's either an insane asylum or a recording studio or a recording we'll studio to- for the insane. <laughs> or an asylum for the recording people. <laughs> yeah, that could be anything. That's where I live. We can't even. We've seen this before. Imagine how cold the East is. Oh, whoops. I guess he's in there twice. Uh, so we got nice Dempsey Holloway twice. wearing a DB jacket. Love it with the. Looks like a really light, like chin, like very light cottony trouser. Mm-hmm. Look, at, look at all those creases and wrinkling. Look at them creases. Uh, some like uh, light Belgians. Uh, you know, kind of Esquire, man, kind of loungy a little yeah, bit. Yeah, very 1930s. Um, yeah, I mean, hey, we've seen a lot of Dempsey Holloway outfits before. He's a consistent contributor, to borrow yeah. a phrase from my beloved male fashion advice. Um, but yeah, no, this is a really nice look. Again, brown DBs, baby! It's soon. Two months from now, I'll have one. Very soon. Hopefully. Yeah. Now we have the real folk blues. He's the real yeah, thing. The, the real folk blues. Another gray jacket. Uh, denim combo. green maybe nice that's that's a jungle jacket but that's like the type one which has the yeah, outside the buttons. buttons and the appellettes Ooh, good catch. appellettes uh, appellettes <laughs> appellettes yeah Apple who uh with the blue striped ocbd some nice dark denim and some black tassel loafers nice move with the uh, black yeah very cool very cool very cool very cool up next, we have 
Un Voyage Sartorial. Which is a great yeah. name. Um, and he's wearing the Bane coat. I just call any, like, really bulky coat with, like, a fur collar the Bane coat. Like um, a Sherling one, yeah. Yeah, but it's it's great with a... Oh, it's a sport coat underneath. Didn't even pick up on that Damn. at first. Crazy. Uh, with a, a really nice uh, turtleneck. I love the high neck on that. Yeah. High neck. Um, with uh, with some light water, medium wash jeans and some brown Chelsea's. But yeah, good stuff. Coat. I once again, eighty degrees here. Wish it was cold enough to ever wear something like that. <laughs> and first time poster, Chris Barant. Uh, thank you for coming. Uh, not on the stream, but in the thank digital you for bringing form. Thank your here. dog. Um, interesting use of like you know like not just a window pane coat, but like putting like the short jackets lapels over it, which is the cool move. Uh, he's got like that multi-stripe tie, gray trousers, nice shiny shoes, and then um, the dog. The dog's like, "What are you looking at, man?" Yeah, looking straight at me. Yeah, yeah but nice wholesome picture. Thank you, Chris. Thank, Thank you for you posting. So Hopefully, much. you do it some more. Do it next week. Do it more. And, and that's it, everyone. Thank you oh, for submitting. Uh, you know, uh, we love it when you guys submit to us, and we post nearly everybody. So, nearly. continue.